inside the Federated Insurance postgame show this month recognizing Dick's Plumbing and Heating of Bemidji and Wolf Ford as the Federated Insurance Business Partners of the Month. Cal Soderquist here with you from our NBA Tonight studios in downtown Minneapolis. The Wolves tonight come up short down in Charlotte, 120 to 114 as the final. Minnesota's now dropped four straight games and they suffer this loss to Charlotte despite the buzz being shorthanded, playing with only eight players tonight as they uh, they added three players to the NBA's health and safety protocols about 90 minutes before this one tipped off. Still to come on the postgame show here as we wrap things up for the evening, we will hear for, uh, from head coach Ryan Saunders reacting to this loss this evening. We also will run through the highlights from this one, and uh, we'll try to hear from a Timberwolves player or two as well, potentially Mr. Ant Edwards, who, uh, of course, had a lot of uh, headlines and discussion entering this matchup as both he and LaMelo Ball getting to go head-to-head for the first time in their respective rookie seasons. Let's start with the highlights, though. Minnesota trying to snap that three-game losing streak as they head out on the road for a pair of contests, first tonight in Charlotte and then Sunday in Tampa, visiting the Toronto Raptors. Minnesota still missing point guard D'Angelo Russell. He did not join the team on this trip due to that left leg injury. Charlotte, meanwhile, coming off a 16-point loss in Memphis and tonight tipping off a five-game homestand that they themselves have dubbed fairly crucial for their uh, playoff chances in the Eastern Conference standings. And like we mentioned, they added three players to the injury report late, kind of scrambling before tip-off of this one. The Wolves got out to a quick... And it was their rookie taking the uh, making the most of second-chance opportunities. Responded, and it was their rookie taking the uh, making the most of second chance opportunities. Ball, ball had the rebound. It's deflected to Hayward. He missed it again. And an offensive rebound for Ball. The putback is there. For the fourth time is the charm for the Hornets. They go up 13 to nine. Second chance points would be a theme for the Hornets, and that right there part of a 13 to two Charlotte response. Luckily for Minnesota, they can lean on the sharpshooter Malik Beasley remaining red hot for this game. Up by two are the Wolves. They've got the ball. Hornets do have a foul to give here. Here's Beasley, a step back three on the way. He's knocked down his third triple the opening quarter. 16 first quarter points for Malik Beasley, who just continues to be the guy. He can be instant offense for this Wolves team in any frame. It doesn't matter. You start the game, he's the first guy with that lather going. And even in the fourth quarter of games that they have trailed by a lot, he is the one still in that final frame, willing them uh, back into contention of games. So fun to watch him work. 16 in that first quarter, and that triple right there, part of a 12-2 Wolves burst to end the frame. 30-25 to was uh, Minnesota's lead at the end of one. So they carry that five-point lead into the second quarter. Back and forth, these two teams went for much of that second frame. Edwards probes in the paint, beautiful pocket pass to Towns who lays it up and in. Edwards picks up his first assist, Towns with his third field goal in 10 tries. 50 to 46, ball lob inside, yikes, Biombo up with two hands and throws it down with authority. 52-46. So Cat with the bucket on one end and then the creativity on full display from LaMelo Ball there with the alley-oop dime. And uh, you heard Charlotte opening up that six-point advantage. Luckily, Minnesota able to lean on their big man to cut into that deficit. Hornets have put themselves in a good position. They're 8-1 when they have the lead at the half. But a three ball up top for who else? Carl Anthony Towns able to knock it down for a second triple the half. Yeah, two of four from deep. 14 first half points for Cat in his second game back uh, since the lengthy 13-game absence and continues to look more like himself here tonight, getting his sea legs back under him, if you will. Minnesota trailed by the slimmest of margins at the halftime break, 60-59, to a fun first half with plenty of offense featured on both sides. Now we move into that third quarter. Of course, anyone's ball game still, it was Charlotte once again taking advantage of second and third and fourth chance opportunities. Malik Monk with it up top. Monk at six foot three in his fourth year. Spots ball in the corner. That's an air ball. But the rebound by Biombo tapped down Hayward straight away. That short. Another offensive rebound. Bridges put back. Yes. On the fourth opportunity, the Hornets finally cash in. They get three offensive rebounds on that possession. 
12 offensive rebounds in the game for Charlotte. They converted those into 13 second chance points. And uh, again, that was a, that was an indicator of more to come in terms of Charlotte taking advantage of those opportunities. In that third frame, Minnesota on the night kind of led by their big three. It was Malik Beasley, Carl Anthony Towns, and this guy, Anthony Edwards. Anthony Edwards with the basketball off the Nasri screen. Timing was off there. Now Ann attacks in the lane on Biombo. Up with left hand. He'll bank it in. And he drew the foul. Ant is cooking here in the third. He's up to 18 points. He's headed to the free throw line for an and one. Yeah, 12 of his 21 coming in that third frame. So Ant kind of uh, pulling the Wolves along in that third quarter, keeping them within striking distance. And as we mentioned, it was kind of Ant, Cat, and Malik for different stretches of this ball game. They were the three primary uh, points of offensive production this evening as Malik led the way with 31, Cat 25, and Ant 21. So Minnesota trailed by five entering that final frame. They quickly start the quarter uh, with a 6-0 burst to temporarily take the lead, but Charlotte answered right back. They maintained a cushion for the good, uh, good portion of that quarter, a small cushion, but still maintained a lead. We fast forward to just two minutes left in the game. Minnesota within four with under two minutes to play. And uh, take a listen to this sequence. There's Towns left side, steps to his left, escapes Biombo, buries the three. He flopped to the ground trying to draw the end one. He won't get that, but he gets the triple and makes it a one point game. Towns now with five threes, he's got 25. Rozier wing left, stops, steps back, three on the way. Oh, Terry Rozier! 112, 108, 37 for Rozier. Yeah, that sequence right there, kind of a microcosm of how the final few minutes played out. Minnesota would put a uh, put something up there that Charlotte would have to respond to, and it was mostly Terry Rozier with the response every single time. There was a stretch where he scored eight straight for Charlotte. He had 16 of his 41 in that final frame, and again, many of them were big buckets like that one you just heard there. That Carl Anthony Towns triple pulled Minnesota to within one. It was the last time they got to within a single point, and that was with 90 seconds left in this one. Rozier quickly uh, reestablished the two-possession cushion, and it was a two-possession cushion until uh, actually the rest of the way. Minnesota never again got to within three or fewer. The Cat Triple does provide us our Mayo Clinic play of the game. Mayo Clinic uncovers answers through exploration, teamwork, and innovation, answers that can define a path forward. So if you are looking for answers, you know where to go. Visit mayoclinic.org slash answers to learn more. So Minnesota once again comes up short. 120 to 114 is the final. They have now suffered four consecutive losses despite great games from uh, the big three in Malik Beasley, Carl Anthony Towns, and Ant Edwards. Terry Rozier, the main culprit on the opponent's side. 41 in this one, also a solid game. For rookie LaMelo Ball, 20 points, 11 boards, and four dimes. We certainly saw his uh, full full repertoire on display here tonight in terms of the creativity, also the scoring, and, and just sort of uh, his acumen in terms of uh, only a 19-year-old rookie, but uh, well wise beyond his years. Wolves suffer the six-point loss. Let's take a listen to what head coach Ryan Saunders had to say in his post-game press conference. Coach uh, Terry Rozier hit some big shots, especially down the stretch, but it looked like for the most part they were good contested shots. How do you just sort of analyze the way that, that uh, he hit down the stretch and where your defense was? Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I thought that for the most part they were. I thought he hit two towards the end that, you know, we uh, could have been better with. Uh, you know, it's, it's tough. I mean, it's, you know, you have eight turnovers. You know, you have nearly 30, 30 assists offensively and you know guys you know we did enough to put ourselves in a position to 